Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Freehold Raceway here on Thursday, it is September the 22nd, 2016. Gonna look up race number six from Freehold. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for full card selections from Freehold and also the Delaware County Fair, the Little Brown Jug. Um, so, uh, the race I'll be looking at here from um, Freehold this afternoon is the sixth race. It's a one mile pace here, nine was 2,500 in the last five starts. Nine was, uh, in the last three allowed 500 horses that race for a purse 10 uh, and a half or over uh, in the last start are not allowed nine was four pair mutual races lifetime hopefully you got that we have a field of eight horses going for the one mile pace like I said for the purse for $200 and uh, I'm gonna go with the two horse here um, number two he's a blue chip boy New Zealand bred horse here at 6 to 1 with Vinnie Ginsburg and the sulky I'm gonna go two four one here two four one for the trifecta um, it's the uh, start of the pick four and I believe the second leg of the pick five, you know, I I might actually single a five to uh, a six to one shot here. I really like his chances here, because um, you know, if there's a horse that can maybe upset maybe the four, you know. I, I think, but I really like he's a blue chip boy from the two hole. He has some speed, you know, the horse on the inside of him doesn't have speed. If he could control his speed early on and go some easy fractions, I think he has an easy victory here. So that's why I like him. Uh, Vinny Ginsburg on this one for the first time. Last time out, ran, ran at Freehold this past Saturday. So that was a five day uh, run around uh, coming back. Uh, and Nan was a 2,500 in the last five. Same conditions as today in a 4,200. Uh, he finished third by, one, um, by four and a quarter lengths from the five hole that day. You know, he just faded that day. It was his first start down in Jersey. Uh, his third start in the States. Second paramutual start uh, in the States also. And, you know, he finished third. He just uh, was fading a little bit. Got a different dri uh, driver that day. Got uh, Hust uh, Kyle Husted in the Sulky uh, as a part of that uh, jockey challenge they had. Um, so, you know, he gets Vinny Ginsburg today, which I think is a plus. Um, start before it came September the 1st at Saratoga Raceway. Nine was a two. His horse won by two and a half lengths from the five hole. With Mark Beckwith went straight to lead, did not look back. Easy, easy victory for this horse that day. And then at Saratoga, qualified first qualifier in the States on the 25th of August. This horse won by a neck. Qualified in 155 and 4, which is just an easy, you know, easy, easy um, kind of um, qualifier because he went off the gate. Uh, according to the running line, he he went to the lead, then uh, got taken over to the lead, basically second, third, second, and then closed up to just win that qualifier. Um, you know, I like to see a good time in the qualifier. I think that was a decent time. Uh, and start before that, he has to go back to July seventh, uh, July the um, eighth of this year. Was running in New Zealand in the mile three eighths races. You know, finished ninth, second, second, at second. Um, you know, he's he's only he's three and four. Um, well, he's seventeen and three if I look at the right running line. Uh, 17 and three this year. He's you know he won the um, one race in America. The other two came in uh, in um, uh, New Zealand or the other side of the world, wherever he's running. Um, but I think this horse should have a strong chance here. Um, so I'm going to take my chances with this one. Uh, so to recap my bets for race number six from Freehold Raceway, I'm going to go with the two horse. He's a blue chip boy. My best bet of the day from Freehold. I'm going to go two four one two four one. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck, everybody.